Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on using the cosine rule to find unknown sides in non right angle triangles. Now remember, if we had a right angle triangle and we had, say, an angle here of, I don't know, 70 degrees, and we had a side here of, say, x, and we had a side here of, say, 3, we could use trigonometry, uh, Sokotoa, if you remember, to find that value of x. So if we had two sides involved and an angle within a right angle triangle, we could use Sokotoa. However, that only works for right angle triangles. We've got a non right angle triangle. And basically, for non right angle triangles, if you want to find an unknown angle or an unknown side, we have to use either the sine rule or the cosine rule. Now, we previously saw the sine rule in a previous video. And remember how the sine rule worked. If you had, say, a side and an opposite angle, and they were sort of paired together, and another side and an opposite angle, and they were paired together, and then you could use the sine rule. However, that's not the case here. We've got a side and an opposite angle involved, but we don't have a second angle involved. This angle is neither known or an angle we want to find out. Again, this is neither an angle we know nor one we need to find out. So we can't use the sine rule here because we're not involving two angles. We're only involving one angle. Now, let me just write out the cosine rule and then we'll use it. If you have three sides, little a, little b, little c, and you're involving the angle opposite that a, so these are paired together. Remember, we use a capital letter for the angles in a non right angle triangle. And then if you have a side with its opposite angle, they have to be the same letter, one lowercase, one uppercase, where the angle is the uppercase. Then the cosine rule is this. a squared is equal to b squared plus c squared. Oh, that looks a bit like Pythagoras theorem. But because it's not a right angle triangle, there's an adjustment. So it's minus 2bc cos capital A. Now, I'm not going to prove it in this video because it would take me far too long. But it's basically a, a kind of extended version of Pythagoras theorem that works on non right angle triangles. So let's label the sides first. We're going to label the sides and then substitute into our formula and solve. Well, let's look at this formula. What's the only angle involved in this formula? Well, there's only one capital letter here. It's the capital A. So that is the angle there we're going to label as capital A. And remember, we always label the opposite side as the lowercase version of that letter, so little a. And then B and C are going to be these other two sides we're involved. It doesn't matter which way around they go. We could put the, the B there and the C there, and it won't make any difference to your formula because, look, b squared plus c squared is the same as c squared plus b squared. It doesn't matter. So now we can substitute all these values into our formula. So a squared, that's x squared, is equal to b squared, that's 7 squared, plus c squared, that's 8 squared, minus 2 times b times c, 2 times 7 times 8, multiplied by the cos of the capital a, that's 109. Remember, when you have things next to each other in algebra, it just means you times them together. Now, I can just shove this whole thing on my calculator, the whole right-hand side. So 7 squared plus 8 squared minus 2 times 7 times 8 times cos 109, making sure your calculator is in degrees mode. And that gives me 149.4636. Don't round too early yet, because we're still going to manipulate this value. We're not done yet. And then we want to get rid of that squared. So we square root both sides. So we square root 149.4636. I can just write square root of answer key, and that will give me a length of 12.2, and what is it in centimeters to one decimal place? And that is the final answer.